hello and welcome to the second video this is going to discuss regression regression is a lot more involved than correlation because it tells us whether I could predict a variable uh, a value of a variable based on another variable I wanted to be able to predict uh, the number of the score that I need in order to obtain certain type of score one more time I wanted to build a model meaning an equation that will actually allow me to enter the value of the number of the hours in order to obtain the score. And that is going to be done through regression. Uh, in order to do a regression in Excel, as we will see also, we will be able to do that in any tab. Uh, the reason I'm showing you this in Excel, Excel is a generic uh, application. It's uh, uh, available to all of us somehow. Uh, you should be able to do it. And we need to go to the File menu. Okay. And as you notice here, I want it to go all the way to the auction. So when I click on the auction, and that's exactly the reason that I did the uh, magnifier on the top, so I'll be able to see it. And I'm going to go ahead and add in. Then I'm going to go ahead and say go. And one of the things that I need to do is to go ahead and check that analysis package. And I say OK. And this way, when I did that, if I go to the data ribbon, you will notice that my data analysis is available for me. And I have many, many statistical analysis that could be extremely helpful and useful for all sorts of decisions. And I'm going to click on the data analysis here. And one of the things that I could do, uh, beside histogram, beside even correlation itself, as you notice that we have a correlation here as well, uh, we could go ahead and look for that regression. Here is the regression. Regression is a little bit uh, more precise than the correlation. Uh, again, the input for the y-axis in this case is going to be the score that is the dependent variable. Okay, and and the input for the independent variable, which is x, the number of the hours. We have to study first before we obtain a score. I'm going to uh, actually I didn't include the label. If I wanted to go ahead and put everything. Here we go, let me go ahead and do this with the label, okay? No, sorry, this one with the label, the first one, and the second one here with the label, including the label, it would be bad. If that is my choice, then I have to make sure that the label is being checked. And I'm gonna leave it the significance or the confidence level at 95%. I'll explain to you what I mean by that. So I'm allowing uh, uh, to test something called B value later. And the output, I'm going to go ahead and put the, the result of the output somewhere here close that I could view it. And the same set of scores that I did in the previous example. So I'm going to go ahead and say OK. And now I'm going to get some juicy stuff, you know, data that will be very helpful for me to see. Uh, please notice that the uh, R that we calculated in the previous one to tell me about the strengths of the correlation obtained also through the regression. So if you wanted to do regression in the correlation, or you want to do re correlation and regression, you could only do the uh, regression in Excel. It would be both of them, uh, two for the price of one. And uh, notice, in addition to the number of the observation is 10, this is extremely important piece of data here. If this is this value here that I'm going to color, if it's less than, less than 0.05, it means that study is significant, meaning everything we've done has a value. Otherwise, if this is not less than 0.05, then the independent variable, uh, which is the number of the hours, is should be changed somehow. They're not suitable for this study. Now, we could go ahead and see as well that the intercept is already calculated for us and also the number of the hours uh, for the x, the number of the hour is going to be also as well. The B value is very small. It's smaller than 0 0.05 uh, for both of them, which means uh, that study is significant. So what we're going to do here is to create the, the relationship between the two. Again, we're going to say here the uh, score equal, in this case, 2.6. 759. I'm exaggerating with this. I could easily round it to 2.68. All right, a number of hours. Okay, 
hours of studies. Okay. And in this case, we have a plus the intercept, which is 66, which is going to be 0 0.07 with routing. This is my model. So uh, that is going to help me. Let's assume I wanted to get, uh, if you notice here, I don't have a number of uh, hour that is uh, eight. So uh, in order for me to predict how many, what is the score for me based on the validity that this study, the regression was reliable or significant, I could do this as 2.68, okay. Multiplied the asterisk by eight plus the 66, sorry about that, 66.07, hit enter. So if I do study, for eight hours, I'll get the score 87.5. So the predictability or the prediction of a score would be based on the model because regression does allow us to do something of that significant. Regression is a wonderful thing in order to use in decision making in the business and also in marketing, all sorts of um, business administration subdivisions or fields. Thank you for watching this very short, short video and we'll hopefully we'll continue with many other videos in the future.